Shalom, and welcome back to I Pack by Tina Sheree, and welcome to Motivational Monday. And this topic is going to be Let It Go. Girl, let it go. Let it go. Um, so, Lord, we praise you, we magnify you, we give you all the glory and honor. We thank you for everything that you've done, everything you're doing, everything you will do. Forgive us of our sins we've committed. Give us a clear heart, mind, um, to receive the word that you want to provide to us today. And we thank you for that in the name of Jesus. Amen. So turn with me, if you will, to Proverbs 28, 13. Whoever conceals his transgressions will not prosper, but he who confesses and forsakes them will obtain mercy. So I wanted to get a whole different verse, but God is like... No, the Holy Spirit's like, no, we're going to go this way because it's about letting things go, not based off of what other people have done to you. It's about letting things go based off of what you've done because none of us are perfect, but we all have fallen short of the glory. Um, we all have made mistakes. We all do things that just, they're not good. But are you going to hold it over yourself? Are you going to beat yourself over the head with it? Like, oh, I did this. It was so bad. Shame on me. Um, no, let it go. God is telling you, let it go. Let it go. You confess your sins. Confess what you did. And let it go and try to move on from here. It's not worth it to hold on to these things. God needs you to move forward. And you can't move forward if you're holding on, I did this bad. Mm. So let it go. Don't worry about other people. Worry about yourself. So I'm going to pivot back. Watch Bishop Kevin Foreman in her church um, for a life-giving message. And I will link one in the description. It will bless you. And I hope you have a great day. I hope you are inspired. And shalom.